Just flash bang, what, what a picture, what a picture, what a photograph. Oh, roll, blow, blow me, what a joke. Hat blown off in a cloud of smoke, clap bands. Stamp your feet, banging on the big bass drum. What a picture, what a picture, run to me, um, bum, 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 stick it in your hand, hey! Hello again folks, um, just a little project for you today, um, based on last Christmas's according to the media, must have gift, the selfie stick. I don't want just a selfie stick though, I want something a bit more multi-purpose that will give me some interesting shots and in typical tendency style, I don't want to buy mass produced off the shelf, I want to mod something to do the job. It's not a new idea, this photo from the 20s has been in the news recently, but it is just a touch more popular nowadays. So all I need now then is an incomplete, slightly damaged, aluminium charity shop tripod. And as luck would have it, I've got one laying about. Let's see if I can turn it into something useful. So what I had to salvage then was a tripod head, the metal thread end from the centre pole. There's actually a, a metal at the top and a plastic at the bottom, but I've gone with a metal one because uh, I just get the feeling it's going to be stronger really. Um, I guess you could use either. Uh, and one of the tripod legs uh, minus the end cap that joins to the tripod head. Um, that I just hacksawed off. The leg itself is in four sections uh, but the thread here only fits in this one so although you lose some of the length by doing away with the section it's a really snug fit so it's going to be solid combined with the fact that I'm going to lock it in with two packs so when I'm done it'll be nice and secure. So take your rubber foot off and undo all the collars and take off all their spaces Slide off the largest tube because you won't need it and reassemble the sections you're keeping. Oh, I do love the squeaking. And then ever so slightly crimp out the next tube down with round nose pliers so the thread and the tube make a nice tight fit. And then give it a quick test fit. Mix up a little bit of two-pack. And then finish things off by two-packing the two together. Give it a nice full 24 hours to go off. Not forgetting, of course, your little rubber foot. And just because I like a nice finished look, on the side that's missing its plate, I'm going to put a little glow in the dark sticker. like so. And where the camera sits on the tripod head the pad's missing so I'm going to make a new one from a 3mm gauge cork sheet. I went to a local art supply shop in South End to try and find a sheet of cork to make it out of and as it turns out you can buy about a metre square of 3mm for around 8 quid. When I explained to the fella there Michael I only needed a disc of about 50mm to fix a tripod he went out in the back and brought back this slightly damaged sheet. When I asked him how much he wanted he went I'll just have it. What a geezer. Um, so taking his kindness and generosity forward, if anyone wants to try this project and they need a pad or a disc or something cut in, um, just message me with the dimensions and I'll get one out in the post here. So a massive thank you to Michael and Lawrence Matthews Art Shop, just off South End High Street on Queen's Road for generosity above and beyond the call of duty. Thank you very much. Measure up the tripod head to find out what size pad you need, then you can either use a compass or something the same size to mark it out. 
So as I've got so much, I'm going to do a few. That way I can choose the one that turns out the best to use on the project, and if they all end up good ones, I've got spares. Um, one thing I did discover, because of the surface uh, type of caulk, pencils don't really do the job that well. Biros, on the other hand, do it very well. Where the point of the compass went, mark in a little black dot and you'll see why in a little while. Carefully cut out your pads. And then once you've cut them all out, using the black marker dots that you made earlier, punch out some centre holes for the tripod thread. This level of three rings here, one, two and three, is basically where we're going to stick the cold pad. But this centre ring is actually proud of these three, so the hole that we punched in the middle here uh, needs to be enlarged a little bit to accommodate both the thread and this centre ring and allow the pad to sit flush. So I'm going to test fit the pad, or one of my several pads. <laughs> I'm really pleased at this stage that I've got spares. And then uh, give it a good squash around that centre ring to hopefully embed a little mark into the cork to tell us where to cut the new hole and there you have it you can pretty much cut out the larger hole however you want Stanley knife, scissors, whatever but I'm just going to nibble it out the same way as I did the first one with a hole punch Lean it up a little bit with a standing knife if I need to. Or I might just keep nibbling. I <coughs> should do it. I'm not too sure before the final test fit of course, but it would appear it's come out right first time, so I might well be left with five spares. Um, test fit will tell us whether I'm right or not. And it would appear that it's worked. Happy days. Look closer. First rule in government spending. Why build one when you can have two at twice the price? Well, the first rule of animal tendencies modding, why make one when you can make six for the same price? Assembly here isn't as strength critical as it was when I put the pole and the thread together, so I'm using high-tech double-sided tape instead of two-pack. Put a couple of strips of double-sided tape on the base of your pad. Trim them to size. Cut a little cross into the centre hole and obviously where the tape joins you've already got a line there so you only have to sort of pop one and two and then when you peel the backings off to stick it on you can just fold those uh, triangles over so it fits the hole nicely. And then just peel your backings off. Fold over your little centre triangles that you cut out. And stick your lovely new pad on your tripod head. If for any reason it won't go over the lip, you can always just tuck it in with something small like that just to get a good fit, but this is, uh, this is going pretty well. 
I think that might be more of an issue on the centre one. I'll probably just go around with it afterwards and uh, neaten things up a little bit. But there you go. Fitted. All that's left to do then is attach your pole. Fit your camera. And then give it to a willing helper to have a go of. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. You'll make everybody dizzy. You're so mercenary, you'll only perform for ham. You just, till I got the ham out, you were just ignoring me, weren't you? He's male, what do you <laughs> Food incentives. Don't eat me finger, lick it, but don't eat it. There's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> good boy with your ham performance. So there's the latest addition to my little family of photographic gadgets. Good to have options. Stack the face, banging on the big face.